Hi, I'm going to do a video for Affinity Designer for Windows using the Epson F170. So we're going to first open File, New, and under Print here you will find a lot of presets. Uh, you can see Letter, Ledger, 11 by 17, all different types. I'm going to use for this video just letter. So I've highlighted that and here on the right side under your layout is if you want to change it to let's say 12 by 12 that's all you have to do and you've got 12 by 12. I'm going to keep it 8.5 by 11 just showing you that you can Change this. You want to keep your DPI at 300 inches, and you can have either portrait or not. This one I'm going to do this way. You can always change it. Okay, next is color. This is the color you're going to create with. Not print with, but create. And this is important to know. It's going to be the color format RGB forward slash 8, and the profile is sRGB IEC 61966-2.1. You have the option of a transparent background or not. It's your choice. I like to keep it transparent. I do nothing with my margins or my bleed. It's up to you if you want to do that. So I'm going to create, and here is my blank square. So next we're going to get a graphic, and how to do that is you're going to go to File and use Place. Find the document you want to go to. I have them in a different file, and let's see what we're going to pick. something really cute for now. I'm going to do my sloth. And you see you've got these arrows. So you're going to use your left mouse button and size it. Of course now I see it would look better a different way on paper. So what I want to do is if I want to change the paper, I go to Document Setup, and under Dimensions, I take it off Portrait because you can anchor the page. And there we go. And now we've got it a different way. And he's really cute. Now let's say you want to add something else. You're just going to go again to File and Place. And maybe I'll put a background in there. Uh, some splatter. That's always good. And I'm going to put it in the back. Of course, this is the front. So what you're going to do is right-click and arrange. You're going to move to back. And as you see, it's now in the back. That's him. And that's the splatter. So I'm going to raise the splatter up a little bit. Okay, and as you see, you can just keep adding whatever you want, change the size. Also, once you click this, this is for the slot, down here are your measurements. So you may, might be on a, a letter size document or paper. But the sloth measures 8.9 by 6. Now I could also change that to 7 and 5. Can you see that? Or you do this. It's up to you. Those are just some of the features. Also, one more thing. If you want to change the colors, I can 
brighter. You're going to go to Layer, New Adjustment, and here are your different settings. Exposure, White Balance, Brightness and Contract. Now I have the Sloth highlighted, so as you see, you can make them brighter, you can make them darker. Kick the contrast up or down. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to hit Delete. If you want to do that, just hit Merge. So go to Delete. See the other settings under Layer, New Adjustment, Exposure, Shadows and Highlights, Select a Color. These are all things you can play with. Now that's Vibrance. We're going to. I think I have here. Yeah, you can see that. You can make them. See how vibrant that gets? It really kicks up the color and the saturation. You don't want them too saturated. Anyway, I'm going to hit delete. I'm not going to use that. I'm just showing some of the features that are really nice in Affinity. Okay. Now, the big thing is printing. Now you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Print. And here's where all our settings begin. First of all, you have to see if you have the right printer. I have several, so I've made so many mistakes. This is for the F170. That's the SCF100. We got that first. Then you're going to go to Properties. This is for your printer properties. Okay, you're going to have it at letter, whatever size. There's user defined. There's all sorts of things you can do. That's for a different time. I've got it at landscape. Here are the paper Epson profiles, which if you don't have this, you didn't download the drivers from Epson. There should be two, textile and, ri and rigid. People use Bridget for their tumblers or mugs, but I have found my colors change when I use this. So I use textile for everything. Um, I found that was the best way to go. I was having trouble with the, the rigid. Here's your quality. Standard or high, I go high. Copies, I like to see a print preview. And when you see your print preview, it's never going to be the color um, that it comes out until you press. So it's going to be totally different. Don't worry about it. All right, next you're going to go to More Options, Color Correction. You go to Custom. You go to Advanced. Because you're using Affinity, you do not want to use Color Adjustment the printer's color adjustment. You want Affinity to adjust your colors. And we'll go through that in a minute. Make sure you don't have ICM. You're going to have double profiling. So it's no color adjustment using Affinity. Hit OK. We don't do anything with this. Do not keep bidirectional printing checked. That will give you lines. So don't do that. Keep it at mirror image. You hit OK. Now we're back to printing. Um, now we did the printer properties. Now we go down to affinity. So the layout is letter or whatever you have chosen. <coughs> Excuse my dog. Um, if you've charged, if you have uh, changed it to a different um, size, this size must match your properties. They both have to match. So if you've done something with user defined and made it 12 by 12, so you put it 12, just showing you how to do it. Of course, that's, you gotta hit user defined. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that, but I guess I have to do that. Oh, that's right. This is the small printer, so never mind that. I'm thinking it's the F570, but it will go up as high as 11 by 14. Okay. 
All right. So if you change that, you also have to change it. I made it legal. Remember to change it here. So if it becomes paper size, just go to legal, 8.5 by 14. But we're not doing that. So I'm going to go back to letter. And this stays the same. And we're back to letter here. That's layout, rasterization, always 300 dpi. Bleed marks, we do nothing. Here's the color management. Remember in the beginning we said we're going to create. When we're creating, it's going to be with this file. But when we're printing, the color handling is going to be performed by the app, not the printer. We're using Affinity. Your printer profile for this printer is, let me find it. Again, I said I have many printers. And it is, okay, here it is. See the two, the SC F100 for the F170. There's the rigid, rigid and the textile. They both have to match. If you have textile and properties, your printer properties, you have to have it here too. And that's using their paper. That's for their paper. So we're going to keep that. Rendering intent, always use color, relative color metric. I found that is best for two colors. There's perceptual saturation. But I have found this best for colors and photos. Okay, so we've got that. And I'm going to, once you hit OK, it will print. So I'm going to hit OK and print it and show you that. And also press it on 100% polyester, white polyester, which you can get at Joann's or Walmart to test. Don't use it on your substrates in case the color is wrong. You want to see how it presses before you put it on your good substrates. And we are going to print. And I thank you for watching. Oh, it's going to show you the print preview. Hopefully. Maybe. It's slow today. Let's see if it does. All right. You notice the color is different? Don't worry about it. It's not going to, it may come out like that, but it's not going to press like that. So I'm going to hit print, and that's it. That's it. Thanks for watching.